Hi everyone, it's Karen here with a mixed media altered credit card. Enjoy! I chose a credit card as my substrate for this project because I recently made a video about 10 different hacks that you can do with a credit card. And the number 10 was using it as a substrate and as a surface for your artwork. The first thing I did is took some Prima Fina Bear heavy white gesso and covered the card. I wanted to cover up all the unwanted graphics because I really didn't want them on the back and I also wanted to have it ready as primed for my art. I, you could also use a credit card to do this, that's one of the hacks that I actually had on my other video to just uh, spread something as a palette knife and to also create some texture and marks. I dried this gesso and then I gave it another coat. I didn't let the gesso fully dry because it didn't really matter for my next step. I took a few embellishments that I wanted to add on the card. This is a metal embellishment from Prima and that would have been my base on top of the card. The nice thing about these cards, they're really hard, it's plastic, so it's really nice because it can hold some heavy uh, embellishments, but they're not uh, big so you can really like do small embellishments and just kind of play around with them and they will hold those big embellishments because it's a plastic card. Unlike an ATC, if you're doing it on a paper, it might not hold as many things. The only thing is this is not an ATC size. This is smaller than an ATC, and you but you could stick it on top of an ATC 2.5 by 3.5. This is probably about 2 by 3. I took some heavy gel and this is a Prima heavy gel uh, from Finabear and I just glued the two embellishments which I ended up going just with the metal one and the heart. Then I changed my mind about the heart that I wanted so I cleaned it off and I chose a different heart from the package. This is a resin heart from Prima Ingvild Balm and I just glued it to the background as well. Then I took some sisal and I cut it up and I used it because I wanted to create texture. This is sisal thread that comes in a package and I have all the links listed below in the description area so if you want to have this and create some texture this way it's really good it does go everywhere but it's really great texture then I glued the heart right on top and that was basically my composition The next step was to add gesso again, the heavy white gesso, just to cover basically the metal part, the brown part, because I really wanted to add some more bright colors. I took some Ken Oliver's color bursts. I took two colors, the turquoise and the lime and I basically just added them around the heart trying not to get on the heart and just sprayed some powder then I took my water bottle my spray bottle and just sprayed it around to spray to spread the color everywhere I dried up the background a little bit and then took the color bursts again and added a little bit more powder so the color would be more intense.
Once this was dry once more, I took again some heavy white gesso and with a thin paintbrush, I dried brush on top of all the textured areas. So I did it on the metal part and on the sisal thread just to add a little bit more of uh, highlights and it would bring all the texture back into the surface. I wanted to make sure that the heart stays white so I just wiped off any color that was on the heart then dried it again and then created another layer with the white gesso. I took the blue color from Prima Fina Bear, a bloom fine glitter set and I sprinkled it on top of the wet, wet gesso and that stuck on and gave it a really nice shimmer. I wanted to add a little bit more green onto the background so I took some ice resin enamels in the chartreuse color and using a little spoon just spread it around the different areas around the heart and then I took my heat gun and I just melted the ice resin onto the background. Finally, I took a small metal embellishment from Prima. This is the jeans plate and I stuck it with some heavy gel. The word says explore because I really felt like I was exploring and experimenting with this idea of doing a mini art project on a credit card, on an old credit card. So I thought it was really fun and ex to explore this medium and I really loved doing it. Thank you so much for watching. For more inspiration, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye!